Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about taboos and breaking taboos and the tremendous fear that people feel when they break through taboos. Um, it's come to me that this feeling, this upsurge of extreme panic that comes up uh, when a person is from time to time when a person is about to break through a taboo has to do with the very energy that controls and holds down the unconscious mind and the, the thought forms there. So um, the barrier that we encounter between soul wounding and the homogeneous, or more or less homogeneous remainder of the body of light is a boundary of terror or fear called in the past taboo. So, so the interesting thing to do is to, to recognize, to realize when this feeling surges up from our gut into our awareness and causes us to want to act out either as um, running away or as striking out, uh, either as um, flight or as fight, either as fear or as anger. Um, the thing to do at that moment when we feel that extreme urge is to stop. Stop and feel the feeling of extreme terror and then decide whether to, to act in such a way that the unconscious is, is brought to the light of consciousness. For instance, I'll give you an example from yesterday. Yesterday, late afternoon, there was an astral story that came up. It had to do with um, impotence, um, rape, and murder. And this is an, uh, an oft-heard uh, astral story to do with unconscious taboos. There are unconscious taboos against all of them. One has to do with the manhood mental filter, and that is um, uh, um, lack of sexual, like enough sexual urge to be considered a man. And, and, and it's a very deeply felt fear amongst men everywhere. The second has to do with, um, with rape and the third with killing. And these two are striking out by men against the notion that their manhood may be lacking. Okay, so they're all bound up together in the dissolution that's happening right now of the manhood mental filter. Uh, this particular astral story had a particular place that I was familiar with and actors that I knew theoretically. As it spreads out, the astral story has other actors uh, as it gloms to other people. Other egos substitute in for these roles and sometimes the roles change and shift around. But from, but from where I was standing, it seemed to be certain actors at a certain place near me. So when I got past the, the, uh, like the feeling of terror that I was engendered by this, this astral story, this, today I went by the place and I uh, asked around and found out whether or not the story was true. And the answer is not. It was not carried out on the physical plane. And what that means is, quite frequently these astral stories are a symbolic representation of repressed uh, unconscious emotions, okay? And, and they create in us these feelings of panic and anxiety and uh, rage and anger uh, that, we've, that we as a human race have been feeling since the shift in 2012. This is because all of those repressed feelings and those old stories to do with social taboos are leaving Earth right now. All right, so in a way it's a very good story. The answer is it's probably in most instances not acted out. All right, almost most instances there's no basis for the fear except for a social opprobrium notions. All right, so the brave soldier of the light goes 
to these stories and perform some minimal physical action that allows them to throw light on these stories and to know whether they are true in the physical reality or whether they are representations of the subconscious and unconscious realm. Should they be representations of these, these realms, then the next question is, what is the fear of, that is being repressed and how can we bring it to light? So another thing about this is uh, I remember seeing a picture one time, like a moving picture of a um, mongoose and a cobra and how the cobra would be like caught by the mongoose. It was very sneaky because the cobra has a way of mesmerizing animals and only mongoose, is it, or mongooses can, can avoid being mesmerized. Otherwise, the cobra gets the upper hand by swaying back and forth and, and lulling like a mammal to sleep and then it strikes and catches them and kills them, right? And so that's kind of like what taboos are like. The fear that we feel, the extreme fear that we feel freezes us and prevents us from acting. And we have to be kind of like the mongoose and get around the cobra and get around the fear and, and get to the source of the issue kind of destroy the mon destroy destroy the cobra